If you guys are looking to play NBA 2K23 early, then this video is for you. Now, this is actually going to be a thing where I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on Xbox and PlayStation. However, one of them is definitely better than the other one. So if you guys do enjoy this video, do me a favor and smash that like button. If you guys are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we are going crazy in 2K23. Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how you guys can win a copy of 2K23 for free. So on the Xbox side of things here, this one's actually going to be a lot easier than the PlayStation version is. And there's a reason why that I'm going to get to in this video. So you guys can see I already have both versions of this game fully downloaded and ready to go for, uh, you know, 2K23. We are ready to go, ready to get that grind going. But how can you guys get this game a day early? Now, if you guys don't know, 2K does release September 9th at you know baseball well, tech i mean technically it releases yeah september 9th at midnight you guys will be able to play and get all your stuff you know all your pre-order bonuses and everything like that which is obviously really really good however there is a way to get this game 16 hours early and yes it is 16 hours early you will be able to play this game september 8th at 8 a.m which is really good depending on where you live obviously this is going to be really good for you guys now um, this is again based off of you know uh, US Eastern time. That is where I live. That is what I'm basing this on. So it is 16 hours early for me. It might be even earlier for you, it might be a little bit like later for you, but either way. 2K does release, obviously, on September 9th at midnight. Now, that obviously changes depending on what your region is. And because of that, you are able to kind of take advantage of some things, especially on the Xbox side. So you guys are going to see, I'm going to just click on the current gen version of the game. It is going to tell me that I'm still too early to play the game, which absolutely makes sense. It is not even September 8th yet. It is September 6th. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But when you go to the store, you guys are going to see here that, again, I do live in the U.S. I live in New Jersey, where obviously the time is the Eastern time. And you guys are going to see, I'm going to scroll down here where now my, you know, prices and everything like that are going to be in the New Zealand price. You guys are going to, it's literally super simple to do this on Xbox too, which is really surprising. This is actually my first year doing this. So I definitely recommend you guys doing this as well. If you guys are on Xbox, the reason why is that once you buy this game digitally on your console, right? So you buy it, you buy it on your main account, you're ready to go. Whether it is the standard version, the championship version, or the Michael Jordan version, whatever version you guys do end up getting you are good to go to do this and it's literally as simple as going to your profile here scrolling down to settings and changing your language and we're going to language and location and changing your location to new zealand this is going to let this game be accessible at again 8 a.m on september 8th so you're going to be getting to play this game 16 hours early which is really really solid all you do is when you do change this and again you can change it right back which i'm going to be explaining in just a second here when you do change it when you do you go to back out you're going to see here that it does actually have a restart now option. You're going to just want to restart. So once you change your location, just restart your console. And that's actually going to give you guys, again, the new region. It doesn't mess up anything else. So as long as you guys just switch it back to the United States or wherever you are, obviously, once the full version of the game comes out at your location, when it technically is supposed to come out, you will be good to go and everything like that. You'll be back on your servers. You'll be able to get all your pre-order bonuses and everything like that. So you will be completely fine there. So I don't know. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't where you do get your pre-order bonuses early. Really, um, it, it is what it is. Sometimes, like I said, it works. Sometimes it doesn't. You're going to just kind of have to roll with it, whether it works or not. Regardless, though, you will get it. It just might not be there right away. I do want to make sure I say that before anybody freaks out. So now the only downside about doing this on PlayStation is the fact that you actually have to make a second account. Now, again, on Xbox, which is really good, you don't have to make a second account. It is literally as simple as just using one account, changing the location, and you are good to go there. On PlayStation, you do actually have to make a brand new account. So you can have your main account. So for instance, you guys know I have the, you know, the real bio 2K account, which whatever, but we have that account here. And then normally I have that second, you know, no auction house, no money spent account, whatever it is. So I have those two accounts, right? So if you do have your main account, you're going to have to make a brand new, it can't be an existing account already. You have to make a brand new account and set that location to New Zealand. Now, the unfortunate thing about that is again, it is a different account. So there is no way to transfer your pre-order bonuses so there is those promo packs and everything like that you do get for pre-ordering the full version of the game there's the ruby you know uh, michael jordan there's a the devin booker there's all that sort of stuff that does not transfer over which is a little unfortunate that is why it is better to do on xbox however if you guys do this on playstation you still are going to be able to take advantage and you know obviously 
um, get your pre-order bonuses and everything like that on Xbox, PlayStation. I, I realistically, honestly, wouldn't do it. I mean, you can obviously. I've done it in the previous couple of years on PlayStation, but you have to buy the game twice. Nothing really transfers over. Like, yeah, technically, you can send the MT over if you really wanted to. There is ways around it. I will tell you guys this now that if you guys actually do buy the game, I believe on a second account, this is what I did last year. If you buy it on a second account and share play it to your main account, basically, you actually will be able to keep the stuff, but you don't get any of the pre-order bonuses as well. So again, it is tricky. And with PlayStation, you are playing around with a lot of different stuff. You also can game share with somebody that is from a, you know, from that area or already is on a New Zealand account. So if you know anybody that is doing that, feel free, you know, try to find somebody. Maybe they'll help you out. Maybe not. Like, I don't know. That's not up to me. But like I said, PlayStation is a little bit more complicated, but Xbox, you are definitely good to go. That is what I'm going to be doing. So we are going to be live literally at eight in the morning on Thursday, ready to go, ready to supply you guys with some amazing content here. So yeah, this is how you guys play the game early. Let me know how you guys, and let me know if it works for you guys. If you guys have any questions, comment them down below. Um, but yeah, let's get into how you guys can win 2K23 for free. So I just tweeted this out a couple minutes ago here, paying it forward time. Another copy of 2K23 will be given away today, so stay tuned. This tweet is obviously gonna be in this video where everybody on Twitter that already does follow, everybody is you know already paying attention, whatever, but you guys are gonna be able to, again, enter this in this video. So if you guys don't know, just a quick little backstory. I do sports betting a lot where I, you know, I've kind of mastered it pretty well to say the least here, but every time I do win big, I am a big believer in the pay it forward system. I like to give back to people that are in need. I've already given away four copies of 2K away from doing our, or doing this already this year. And I do want to continuously give away more, the more that I do go ahead and win. So all you guys need to do to enter this video or enter this giveaway, excuse me, is like the stream, subscribe to the channel and comment down below, whether you are on PlayStation, if you're on Xbox, and uh, yeah, I guess, to, and you know what, PlayStation and Xbox and tell me your favorite player. That's all I'm gonna say to do. Comment them down below. I'm gonna be picking one of you guys either later tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow, just to give people more time to get in it because not everybody's on YouTube all day. So be sure to stay tuned for this giveaway and everything like that. I will go ahead and, you know, comment under the winner. And uh, yeah, I'll use like a random picker or whatever. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you guys are ready for 2K23 because I am super stoked, man, ready to go. And yeah, peace.